there guys welcome back to all things apple plus we have a great video to show you guys today and that is going to be on the emulator inds how to install it how to get games on your i device for free running ios 12 and this is a nintendo ds emulator again running on ios 12 so let's go ahead and navigate into safari and punch in pandahelp.vip and this is a website that's going to allow you to download a enterprise app called Panda Helper that's going to allow you to download the emulator for free. Now they also allow you to download other different games and other different emulators uh, for free. So go ahead and check them out and I'll leave the link in the description below. So once you t get the application and if you try tapping on it, you will receive a untrusted enterprise developer app notification. Just go ahead and navigate into settings, general profiles and device management, enterprise app. Go ahead and hit the blue trust button and trust again and you can go ahead and hit the home button and you should be able to launch the application from there. Now upon launching the application, you may receive some notifications, some ads. Go ahead and close those guys out and we're gonna navigate into the search tab, which you'll see at the top of the main page of the application. So from here, once we tap in the search section, we're gonna type in INDS. Now from here, we can go ahead and install the application, but I do wanna let you know that this is an updated version of the Nintendo DS emulator. Previously, we did have other emulators that, or previous versions of this emulator that didn't allow you to sync to Dropbox. Dropbox allows you to save your games and your save states uh, through INDS, so they they like coexisted with each other. So now that this application has been uh, updated, you can now navigate into the settings tab and toggle on the Dropbox sync, and you should receive a success once you get once you toggle on the uh, Dropbox uh, toggle there so from here we're gonna go ahead and hit done and we're gonna tap on the magnifying glass that you see at the top right and it should give you or bring you to a Google search for I or Nintendo DS ROMs go ahead and tap into ROMs mania I'll leave the link up for this website also in the description below this site I found to be one of the best sites to get NDS ROMs from there are a certain apps or certain ROMs that if you do tap on them, you do receive this white page where there's just nothing happening. And unfortunately, unfortunately, like Pokemon Soul Silver, this is one of the ROMs that just populates with this page. So let me go ahead and navigate back. And we'll go ahead and tap right back on into the website. And let's go ahead and try and download Mario. Oh, Mario 64. See how it loads just fine. I don't know why that happens, but if you navigate into Safari, you can go ahead and type in Nintendo or NDS ROMs, and the Google search should bring you maybe it's a, either the first or second link, which is ROMs Mania. We can navigate over into there, and we can download Pokemon Soul Silver. And it must just be an extra tab that's loading in the background that's not allowing you to, to see the actual main page here. So upon scrolling down, we can scroll down to see the green download button. Just go ahead and tap on that and you should be brought to this page where it says your ROM is downloading. Just go ahead and wait a little bit while the ROM is downloading in the background. You can see the blue pro progress bar on the top and it should bring you to this page where you can hit more and check out and find the INDS emulator application and it should redirect you over to that app. Now from there, we're still in Safari in that, on that app, so we can go ahead and hit click done. And then you should see the Pokemon Soul Silver ROM within the application. And don't worry if the ROM doesn't populate with the correct uh, picture for Pokemon Soul Silver. It's just this colored background. Don't even worry about that. If you do tap on the ROM itself, it should launch normally. So just go ahead and hit the actual ROM and then hit launch normally and then the actual or the ROM should go ahead and load from there and as you can see ROM works great we have the game running no issues no problems running at a, a good speed and then if you do need to speed up the game as well you can navigate over into settings and toggle on the frame skip if you would like to but I hope you guys did like this tutorial it was a kind of a short one today if you guys did if you guys found this a little bit informative just go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's any problems or issues that you may be having with the application. If it does become revoked, just stay tuned on my Twitter and as I'll be releasing uh, 
different updates and letting you guys know when these ROMs come back, if they've ever been revoked. But I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.